Where is it? Al? Is that you? What do you want? I believe you're supposed to come with me. What? It's eight o'clock. It's you? You're eight o'clock? Whoa, scary. Well, I got a little message for you, pal. I'm not going anywhere. It's eight o'clock, sir. The limo is waiting. Limo? The limo. What is this? I just drive the car, sir. You'll have to come with me. This is really nice. Hey, did I win something? He's not real. He's not real. It's just the limo driver. Oh, I'm real, man. I'm as real as it gets. <laughs> Are you? I'm Death Man. Death? Like the Death? Well, I'd say in the flesh, but that wouldn't be 100% accurate. This is crazy. <laughs> Fly! You couldn't kill him. This can't be. You know it's real. Just accept it. This isn't real. <laughs> Did that scare you? Yeah? That's because I'm death. It's very scary when I do something like that. You're weird. I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead. You are dead. I'm not dead. You are dead. I'm not dead. Ah! I'm, dead. I'm, dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You gotta be shown. They all have to be shown. Close your eyes. Close them! It's out. My apartment. Hey, Pretty radical, huh? <laughs> I'm too young to die. Cliche. Actually, this is a little bit before your scheduled time, but you kept saying. I wish I were dead. That's a figure of speech. Maybe so, but you're only allowed to say it 18,000 times, then they call me in. 18,000 times? That, that's stupid. Also, you weren't useful. What? You weren't any use to anyone. All you did was sit around and complain. You never actually helped anyone. What if I had? It's too late now, baby. It's too late. You love this. I love people. Well, you make a crummy death. Shouldn't you be wearing a hood or something? That was a little fashion thing I went through. 
I was depressed. Watch this, though. What the hell is that? Being dead is great. Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> no. Eh? <laughs> I hate being dead. This sucks. I hate it more than life. I hate the way you are. I hate you. It's stupid how we're in this limo. It's stupid that thing you're doing with your ear. That, that rule about 18,000 times is lame. I don't like it here at all. There's no tunnel. The least you could have done was given me a tunnel with a bright light. Nobody has ever come back and said, oh, it was so peaceful. I was in this big stretch limo. Oh, this, this is great. I'm not even floating. You know, you'd at least think I'd be floating or something. No, no, no. I'm in the back of a car with a guy that can relocate his ear. Oh, this must be heaven. Somebody pinch me. And look at you. Yeah, you with your face popping up all over the place. Yeah, maybe all I did was complain. Maybe I didn't help anyone. But at least I wasn't just showing up trying to scare people 24 hours a day. Oh, there's a lot of things that need to be changed around here. And as soon as I see a little bit more, I'm going to give you a full, detailed rundown of the way things should be. And you're going to hear it, man. You're going to hear it all. <laughs> Not this time, pal. First, when people think about death and dying, you got to realize they're building up expectations. And it is your responsibility to make sure they're not let down. And whoa! Believe me, this is one gigantic letdown. For instance, when you die, you ever think maybe you'd like to see someone that you like? You know, like a relative or something? Not some rubber-faced limbo champion. Oh yeah, I'm dead now. Please, bring in Mr. Play-Doh Face. That would be nice. I'd like to be annoyed for eternity. Bring me the loser. Yeah, I love being around him. It's great! Dave? Hey, Dave! 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 I can't believe this. I gotta call the police. Hey! I'm sorry. This time I'm gonna have to put my foot down. I'm not taking him. There's no way I can be around that guy. And I'm not coming back for him either. <laughs> 